this street is above another street. I want to get down there. I have to take these stairs. What the heck? This is ghetto as hell. Interesting. YouTube Facebook Twitter should be my wing drops back in. It's not super official. On the road review. Can't think of it. No, you can't. Hey, listen, man. Yo, so I just, just that, uh. Shoot, can I still get in the shot? How's that boba guys right there? Um, got the drink right here. So, wasn't really sure what to get. They had so many things on the menu. Um, and if this is good, I'm definitely going back because there's so many things that sound good on the menu. But uh, yeah, I'm walking from there. Got off of work and went there just to try it. And we're gonna go be walking back to the bar station. So, uh, in the meantime, gonna try this drink out so what I got here is the horchata with boba so did you ever think you'd see this crossover I don't know man when I saw that you could get horchata with uh, boba in there I had to get it shout outs to all my boys back in San Jose uh, OTH Zamasu um, Daniel Navarez. I don't know if you see these videos, but I'll never forget the first time you showed me horchata. But yeah, let's get into this. That's really good. It's literally porchata, but with boba in it. Now, I think this is a good combination because when you, usually when you get milk tea, it's milky anyway, right? So you already know that creamy and chewy is a good flavor texture combination. And this is just even better. If you're even remotely a fan of horchata and boba, you should try this. Like, um, it's the best of both worlds, man. You get that cinnamony, rice milky taste of the horchata, and you get boba. It's good. Honey boba, I think that's what it was. Uh, gonna have to roll back the tape and see what it, exactly it was, but good stuff. The boba here, I mean, boba guys, is supposed to be known for the boba. The boba is nice and chewy. What the heck is happening? I don't know if you heard that, but we'll ignore it for now. Big city things. Um, but the boba is nice and chewy. Let me get into that again, actually. I mean, the boba is really good. Like... It's, got, it's probably one of the better, best bobas I've had, in my opinion. It's not, it's chewy, right? But it's not super, super chewy. It's just, it's uh, all dente. And the fact that it's not slimy and it's not rock hard, but I think it's perfectly in the middle where you want that little bit of chew that it bite, when you bite, it bites back but it's not so chewy that you have to spend all day chewing through it. So you can easily, once you're done chewing through it, go in for another round just like this. Shout out to the Muni. 
so many people commute in SF. It's crazy. I love the movie, man. It's probably the craziest thing, right? Because these things are... It's like the triangle. It has three functions, right? You can drive it three ways. The Muni is a bus. It's also a light rail. You see the, the um, yeah, you see that? And it's a subway. So in one ride, you can go from being on the streets to being on the tracks to being underground. It's insane, man. Try the Muni if you've never tried it. But yeah, back to this thing. Really good. Oh shoot, we're getting close to where I work. But yeah. Um, really good. I'm gonna have to give the Orchata Boba from Boba Guys a four and a half out of five. Almost perfect. Um, I, I guess what's holding it back, I've just, there's no tea in it. I mean, that's that's not, that's by design, right? This is the Orchata of Boba, but I don't know. It's not complete, if I, I guess. Like, I don't know, man. It's just not perfect. So I'll give it a four and a half out of five. Really solid. If you like Orchata, definitely check this out. Um, Boba guys, um, really changing the game here. And I'm definitely going back now. It's like a 10 minute walk from my workplace. Um, and they have really crazy flavors that I really want to try. Like there was Korean banana, um, Korean milk banana or Korean banana milk. Sounded pretty interesting. They had strawberry matcha latte, which apparently was the most popular flavor, but I didn't get it because I'm not a huge fan of matcha, though I love strawberries. So definitely do want to try that one out. Um, what else was there? Uh, there was the Pog. I was considering getting the Pog as my first one, just for the memes. Shout out to Andy Lowe. Uh, but yeah, there's so many good flavors, man. Boba Guys seems like a really solid boba spot in SF. Only downside, man, was there's, there's a line, right? So I was waiting out there for maybe... Um, I like... Uh, maybe okay so maybe not 15 minutes but between 10 and 15 minutes i'll say 12 minutes i was waiting there for a good chunk of time it wasn't the worst like i mean you wait way longer for over high places but for like five o'clock um what's it rush hour time it's actually not that bad so but yeah if you're really in a rush bubble guys Expect the wait, so I don't know, man. Holy moly. Alright, so yeah, four and a half out of five. I probably, this probably went way longer than it should have, just because I'm, this is a on the road review, but yeah, it's been your main men of wing drops. And we're done here. Right, like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, leave a comment, especially if you think all this bullshit. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> this video is sponsored by 11 Arts. 11 Arts. Still the beautiful. By the way, we're not in the car. Bide your time and hold out hope.